Gaza City, Gaza Strip, watching the ruined, uninhabited streets of the Jabalia refugee camp in northern Gaza. Naji Jamal was frozen with indecision. Should he heed the Israeli army's demand that all Palestinians be evacuated and make the risky journey south of Gaza, where their only certainty is homelessness? Or should he stay in the multi-story building that the Israeli army has currently designated as a target area before a possible Israeli ground attack? It's an existential question, but there's no answer," said Jamal, a 34-year-old health clinic worker. Their safe zone, that not ed, their place that not surrounded. To go, watch war in the Holy Land. PBS News special report The Israeli military issued an unprecedented order to civilians in northern Gaza and Gaza City, giving Gamal and 1.1 million other Palestinians 24 hours to decide. It was the sixth day of Israeli Ardman triggered by a brutal Hamas offensive that killed more than 1,300 Israelis and stunned the country. As the clock ticked for the ultimatum, Hundreds of thousands of reserve Israeli soldiers gathered near Gaza's northern border. Israeli warplanes flew low overhead to drop S on houses and residential high-rise buildings. Aid groups have called on the international community to stop the forced population transfer, which they condemn as a possible war crime. Palestinian doctors said they felt they had no choice but to stay in hospitals that were understaffed and poorly equipped. Mohammed Abu Selim, general manager of Shifa, the largest hospital in Gaza, said evacuation was not possible. Although hospital chaos, electricity running out, its beds are full, morgue overflowing under Israeli siege. Abu Selim said there no other safe place in Gaza to handle the 600 patients, many of whom are serious condition from attack. Asking us to evacuate is ridiculous. It's impossible, Abu Selim said. But as Israeli retaliation intensified, hundreds of thousands of Palestinians in the region debated the painful choice. The Israeli military says the airstrikes target militant infrastructure, not civilians. Palestinians reject this claim. Many fled south for their lives getting into relatives' cars and rolling through rubble-blocked streets despite heavy ardment all around them. A tangled line of tractors, horse-drawn carriages and donkeys stretches nearly 30 kilometers along the strip, turning an otherwise breezy 45-minute journey into a harrowing two-hour journey and deadly for dozens of people. Watch Brooks and Capehart on Israel-Hamas war and U.S. support Hamas press office said that at least 70 people were killed in Israel's airstrike on evacuation vehicles. I don't trust them. Ali Abdul Bari, a 37-year-old Gaza resident, said of the Israeli army. He arrived city Khan Yunus in south of Gaza after evacuation order. Due to dizziness and exhaustion spending nights awake but he could not fit all his family members' car. He promised his aunt and uncle that he would return for them.